Hello, thank you for the question. So the question is about the advantage of this fist here that I make with the finger crossed. So first let me give you a legend behind it. So the legend I told, of course this is just a story, who knows what the actual truth is. But the story is that Shaolin monks at the Shaolin temple were playing with monkey paws. And while playing with the monkey paws, they kept putting the hands and fingers into different positions, observing the tendons and everything. And they noticed that if you cross this finger like I do in this Okinawan fist, that everything lined up perfectly. Now, we do get really good alignment. See, so if you make a natural fist where you just curl in like this, the natural position of the wrist... Let me get here so here. I'll show you with this hand here. These knuckles are actually above the forearm, so the energy is going to cause impact like that. You have to consciously pull that down. But if you make the old Okinawa fist, you curl this over, it automatically pulls this directly into alignment. Now, if you're doing a vertical punch, or a sun punch as they call it in Chinese Kung Fu, if I make a normal fist, again, you got the same thing. Impact zone, this is above the forearm, so that you're going to get jarring there. But if I make the Okinawa fist, look at that, pulled it all into alignment. This is one reason why you do fists like this. Some Kung Fu systems sit with the bottom three knuckles because those are lined up with the forearm, whereas the top two are not. So that's just a little bit of tidbit for you on uh, hitting with the bottom three knuckles. Uh, another thing about this is, yes, it takes a while to develop it, but once you're used to it, you'll just make that fist automatically. You, you have to think about making a natural fist. Um, other advantages of this gets into making sure that these knuckles here, see if I make a normal fist, these knuckles here are more exposed and you risk increase the chance of getting a boxing fracture because of their exposure, but watch when I go to the Okinawa fist, it pulls them down and out of the way, therefore reducing the chance of a boxing fracture. So there's some advantages for you to that fist and that's why I use this fist primarily and if you've seen the video where I'm hitting granite with it, people say, oh you'll break your fist with that? No you won't. If you train it, you will not break your fist at all. Thank you. God bless. Have a great day.